Ah, yes. Hello, everyone, and good morning. Well, if you fell asleep, like I said in my short, you missed the gobba file. Well, he showed up, and right as I was about to pass out, and, uh, well, he was full of rage, full of delusions, and he wanted Marty to leave his girl alone because he's back with his girlfriend, and the delusions were just like old times, saying he's got millions of people that want to see him succeed and be up on stage rocking out, and right alongside him is going to be his boys, his family, and his girlfriend. Yes, that's exactly what he said. And, uh, well, he's bitching about the juice boxes that he sent. I mean, Cyrix don't send poisonous juice boxes, and you'll be fine. Your information's on the package, Cyrix, so it's your fault. You did it. You can't even accept anything that he has done. And, uh, well, he didn't like Marty dropping the truth on him. And so what he did was, which was hilarious, and make sure you control the volume on this. He squeals and screams into the microphone to try to drown Marty out. But uh, it was a good time. It, w it wasn't long. He ran and came back. Um, he's just trying to understand why all this has happened to him. And he's talking about Kate again and why Marty set him up. Cyrix, you did this to yourself, okay? It was up to you to do the right thing, which you didn't. And the right thing would have been when the person contacted you and told them and told you their age. You should have blocked them. What did you do? You said you were 30, but look 14, and you turned cutie, and you sent pictures of yourself doing disgusting things and being disgusting in general. No one can force you to pull your penis out and send it in a text message. No one can force you to pull your bull peanut out and flash a live stream. That is a choice you made yourself. I mean, how he doesn't understand this is just the only reason he has survived this long while also being this stupid is because he's been in the house protected by Sally. If he had to work, work, like be outside, he would never last. People would beat the hell out of him. He'd be arrested. He had rotten fruit thrown at him. He'd be chased with pitchforks and burning torches. And he, I mean, he needs to start understanding this, that no one is believing his bullshit lies. He talks about evidence. The only evidence that's out, Cyrix, is evidence against you, and it's disgusting evidence, and you can't run away from it. Then he, you know, he seems to forget that he's come up with so many lies about the Kate situation that it's, he can't even remember them. Cyrix. You, in the beginning, you even said your phone was broken into, how you were sick, you're being trolled all the time, and then you own up to it, and then you backtrack. It's it's just common with you. You'll never own up to anything, yet you say you own up to your mistakes, your, your mistakes, more like your willful acts, but you don't because you don't even say what those mistakes are, and in order to own something, you need to say it, and you never will. But the update is the Gobble File showed up on Marty's stream late around 1 a.m., a little after 1 a.m. He screamed into a microphone like a, I don't know, a demented, tarted pig. And uh, wants Marty to leave his girlfriend alone. Um, he Oh, he also said this. He said that, you know, one of the sacrifices he makes is watching his kids when his girlfriend needs him to. Sarix, you won't even get on a bus to see your friend Steve. You're not going to get on a plane with no passport and see your girlfriend and help her out with her boys. What did you What did you watch them on live stream? Give me a break, Cyrix. And you're sending them those creepy nighttime messages. No child would want to see that before bed or hear that before bed. You're the creepy monster that's underneath the bed and in the closet that, you know, they worry about. And the fairy tales, that's what you are, Cyrix. Anyway... That is all. Go watch Monty's stream. Hopefully it's still up. Um, it's, it's worth it. It is a really funny rage fest. Not long, like I said, but interesting and intriguing. And I'm sure we're going to see him again defending his girlfriend and his boys because, you know, he's always going to go back to her. They'll break up, get back together. He's Because it's legit, right? It's legit. He really loves her. Cyrix, all you love is your urges and your peen. Ah, yes.